So that was adding a new instructor list. Next one is make a new instructor and add them to the list. So that's going to call um, this thing right here. And basically, this is all gathering information. And there's already code in here that says that if I've entered the name of somebody who already exists, it's going to um, it's actually going to go down this route here. It's going to tell me that there's already an instructor with that name. And then it's just going to ask me if I want to add them to the list or not. And then I say either yes or no, and it either returns the instructor if I want to add them or none otherwise. So this is the part that makes or finds the instructor that I'm adding. And then if I don't already have an instructor with that name, then I ask whether it's a full-time or part-time instructor, and I actually make the object. So at this point, if I get to this point in the code, I'm going to have a new instructor object that needs to get added to the database. And so um, I want to call instructor .add and actually let me make it's been a week so let me check uh what i called the one i called it add to database for instructor list and so i'm going to call it add to database for instructor as well so add to database and i'm sorry let me check one other thing here so this is a static method that takes the instructor list as an argument. Now I could actually make it non-static and just call the add to database method on the object. And I think I like that more than having it as a static method. So um, a little redesign here. I'm going to have an add to database method on instructor list so that's just going to take a self object and then it's going to call database add instructor list to database and pass in self so now i can call this add to database method from new instructor list um where did i put that hold on There was new instructor. I'm sorry, I should have just found it. Um, yeah, so this was it. It was add instructor list. And here's where I'm actually doing the add. But instead of calling it as a static method, I'm going to say instructor list dot add to database. So I'm not sure that was really worth doing, but I think it's a little tiny bit cleaner. So I'm going to go with it. Um, and then here I'm going to do the same thing. So instead of calling instructor, I'm going to say instructor. And then this thing here has to be a method that behaves differently for full-time instructors versus part-time instructors. Actually, mine doesn't because they have the same property properties, but yours will because you have two extra fields for your two-factor account. And so you're going to want to have different methods add to instructor for each of your subclasses. And so I'm going to do that here as well, even though mine are going to look the same. Um, actually, the type will be different. So, um, so for instructor, I'm going to add an add to database method that prints an error message. Prints an error message. So 
So that's more a warning to a programmer than a user because there should be no way a user actually gets this error. If the program is written correctly, the user will never get this error. And then um, uh, it's warning me that add to database may be static, but I know that it isn't, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. And then for full time instructor, this one's going to have a real add to database method. And then what it wants to do here is it wants to call my database dot add instructor to database. And uh, actually, I, I, I don't, I, I'm going to change my mind a little bit about this. I'm just going to have the instructor method here. And then it's going to be the thing that converts this into a dictionary that's going to do what it needs to do. So um, for add to database, I'm going to go ahead and just call um, database.add instructor. Database. And then I need the database in order to do that. So let's import the database. Okay, and then my add to database. So that might be static, but it isn't. So I'm okay there. And then for the database, so here's my add instructor list to database. I'm also going to have add instructor to database. And that's going to take a class and is also going to take an instructor. And it's going to do almost exactly the same thing as add instructor to database does add instructor list to database so that's going to be instructors dot insert one and then the tricky bit is that i'm going to call um, instructor dot to dict and then this to dict method will actually do different things depending on whether it's a part-time instructor, full-time instructor. So basically, none of this code needs to know about what the different subclasses of instructor are. Um, that's all transparent because each instructor subclass has a different to dict method, which I now have to implement. So let me go ahead and uh, go to full-time instructor and add a to dict method and that's going to return a dictionary with uh what do i have first name last name middle initial g number so first name is um Get first name and last name is get last name and middle initial is get middle initial, which I probably have to write. Um, and then G number is which i probably have to write as well um and then in addition to that i also want to add a type which for a full-time instructor is full-time instructor so that's going to be different depending on whether it's a full-time instructor object or a part-time instructor object and then I also want to add an ID, which is going to be 
self dot get key. So there's my two dict method for full time instructors, and that's what's actually going to get added to the instructors collection. And then for part time instructors, it's exactly the same, except that part time type is part time instructor. And obviously for yours, for the two factor account, you're going to have two additional columns here in your dictionary that gets added. Um, now, just for completeness, I'm going to say that when you're converting a, uh, an instructor, a generic instructor to a dictionary, um, that's an error. Um, because you don't know whether it's a full time instructor or part time instructor. So you can't specify the type of instructor when you're doing it to a dictionary. So here, that's where I'm going to put this error message that I was talking about before. So on the to dict method for instructor, I'm going to say error. Oops. Error. You can't call the to dict method on a generic instructor. And once again, that's an error message for a programmer, not for a user. Okay. Um, so if I've done everything correctly, this should just work. Um, I haven't handled the part where we update the instructor list yet, though. So I'm going to do that next, but let's see if this part works first. And then I'll do that part if it does. Actually. OK, so let's add a new instructor list for CIS 233J. And then let's um, make a new instructor and add them to the list. And I'm going to add to 233J. And then the instructor's first name is going to be Kara. And last name is Tang. And this is a new instructor, so it's asking me for middle initial and G number. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is a full time instructor. Okay, so I got an error add instructor to database, missing a required positional argument instructor. And yeah, that should have been self right there. Let's try it again. So um, new instructor list, um, new instructor. Try it again. Yes. Okay, so full time instructor object has no attribute get middle initial. Right. I said I had to add those two getters and I forgot. So let's go ahead and add getters. Now that's going to be on the parent class because all instructors have middle initials and G numbers. So we're going to do get middle initial. and get g number and then let's try it again um add and then new And that maybe worked. And then let's make a new one for CIS 233J again. And uh, this will be Walter Lara. Um,
and this is not a full-time instructor. So that was added. And then let's add another instructor who already exists. So that's going to be Pochin Chang. And yes, I want to add it to the list. Okay, so now I have 233J. And if I print 233J, there are all my instructors. Um, but I haven't actually added them to the list. So if I exit the program and restart it, I should have these three instructors and all instructors. Um, actually, I don't, I won't have them in all instructors either. Um, well, yeah, let's go ahead and run it again. So um, let me, uh, so I have 233J, but if I go and print 233J, it won't have any instructors there because I didn't flush that those changes to the database yet. Um, and I think they're probably nowhere. Actually, I want uh, P all instructors. Yeah. Um, so they exist, but they were not added to any lists. And so they're probably in the collection, but are not on any of the lists. So if I try to add one of them, like add, make a new instructor and add them to the list. Hmm. I don't think. I, okay. CIS 233J, Kara. Tang. Yeah. So when I actually go to add Kara, this is probably going to cause an error, a key error, because there's already an instructor in the instructor's collection named Kara Tang. So I expect I'm going to get an error here. And I do. So Kara was successfully added to the instructor's collection but she was never added to either the all instructors list or to the 233J list. And so the only record I really have of her is when I try to add her to the instructor list again, and then I get this crash. Um, so, so this is all doing what I expect so far. 